Hello everyone, it's Kay. How's it going? So this is the 12th of December 2020 and this is on Saturday. This is a recorded video, this is not a live stream, so I hope you enjoy today's video. So every Saturday I talk about psychology or money management related topic. So today I would like to talk about uh, what it means to become a pro trader and what it means to become a non-losing trader over time. So. Just a quick disclaimer before starting here, uh, this information is basically based on my experience, so when you take trades, please do, with your own risk. So let's see, here we go. So here is a chart, MT5, this is my favorite platform that I use to take trades, but um, if you see the chart like this, and if you are actually the viewer of my past uh, live streams and videos, you know that this is downtrending. You see the Kumo's down, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen uh, are actually above the candles and Chikou Span below the candles. So this is the downtrend and in the long term it goes down this way that we can expect. There might be some retracement because the Kijun Sen flat, Kumo flat at the moment, but overall this should be downtrending this way. So this is where you can look for the sell chance. Oh, by the way, this is a uh, USCCAD daily chart and this is going down. So I will continuously look for the sell chance next week. But um, the topic that I want to talk about is the um, what it means to become a non-losing trader. And when I think about it, when I think about um, why there are losing traders and winning traders, well actually I was a losing side of course uh, when I was uh, actually in this uh, forex trades for the first two years I was in the losing side and gradually I became a non-losing and then winning over time, monthly basis. So when I also look back my own uh, trade history, um, what actually changed, what I actually made the change from the losing to winning was that um, I was correcting my misunderstanding. And one of the misunderstanding that I had when I was losing was that um, I thought that the trading is easy. I mean winning profit is easy. So um, so for example like uh, if you want to sell right now then uh, simply you open this uh, trade panel and you just click the sell and then it's done. You just sell that that's it. And so the operation is very simple. Uh, even if you take trade from a mobile mobile phone it's so easy too and because of this easiness in operation um, I misunderstood that the forex trading is also easy to make profit but actually that was not true that was actually two different things so that was one of the mistakes that I had and another mistake that I had was that the um, um, you know I can I thought I can make profit every time I take trades so I didn't really focus on the losing side, but I was constantly focusing on the winning side. And that's why I had so much pain when I lose, especially when I lose like two or three times or four times, um, you know, consecutive, then I thought I will quit the Forex trading. So um, the pain of the loss is actually another um, obstacle um, if you want to uh, become a pro trader or profitable trader because um, we feel more pain in losses than the wins or the pleasure in wins. So if you if you know the balance between the pain loss and the pleasure in the wins, uh, the pain in the loss is actually much much weighted much much higher than the profit, the pleasure of the profit. So for example like um, uh, if you take 10 trades and even if you win or break even nine times, if you lose one time, then that one time's lost memory is actually stick to your brain and you cannot forget. So that's how, that's how um, painful um, the memory can be um, for, for these losses. And actually that was my um, theme at, th at some point when I was losing. So. Sometimes I win, but uh, most of the time I lose, and that was because I thought most of the time I lose. And when I look back the history, uh, it wasn't so much, or it wasn't uh, that big losses. That was like huge, uh, small losses, 
but I thought that these small losses were huge and I wasn't able to win the market. So um, that was uh, one of the mistakes that I had, another mistake that I had. And another mistake or another um, my um, uh, mindset when I was losing was that the um, you know there's a holy grail. <laughs> of course, um, I was looking for the the strategy that can win profit stably and that can produce um, at least 60% or 70% winning rate and uh, make profits over time. And I think this is because that's that's for anything in the world like anything in the world means like uh when you want to when you want to for example um look for some groceries when you want to buy a meat for example then you look for good meat right you have um, you have lots of sh stores and shops and you go to different shopping stores and see which one which meat is the good quality with the same price or a good deal so um it's about the same on anything you know in life and but actually when it comes to looking for the strategy that's not it you have to find the one uh, that works for you and works for works in this kind of um, in this particular situation so um, looking for something um, perfect or nearly perfect is not the behavior that you want to have in any trace and that's actually that was actually another mistake that I had when I was still losing. So um, yeah. So once again, the first mistake that I had when I when I was losing was um, I thought that the operation was so easy. Just press the sell button and you can execute. And even the stop loss, you can drag the line to up or below, and you can put the stop loss so easily. Even from the mobile, you just press button like a couple of clicks like maybe two or three clicks and you just execute the trace so the, because the operation is so easy you might understand that the trading itself in making profit is also easy so that's one thing and other thing was that the um, um, yeah the um, the psychology of the loss I, I thought that uh, you know I had much much more memory in losses than wins in the past. So, and this is actually the human psychology is that the uh, we tend to remember the pains than the pleasure in the past. So, when you when you have this kind of mindset, when you keep this mindset uh, into a trace, then it might become more painful and at, the, at some point you you think you want to quit trading. So um, instead of uh, focusing the losses, just focus on um, focus on the things whether you are doing, uh, we are following the strategy or not. And if you, as long as you follow the strategy, then the losses are okay and the wins are okay too. But if you don't follow the strategy, even the wins are not really good and the losses are not really good either. So. Instead of focusing on losses and wins, uh, focus on uh, whether you are following the strategy or not. And I think that's a very key to be stable um, in this market. And also the third is that the um, looking for the holy grail. So I still have the comments and uh, questions like what is the best setup on Ichimoku um, and which line works the best Kumo, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, Chikou Span, which line works the best? And my answer is that the um, you know uh, they are equally important. You cannot take Kumo to take trades. You cannot simply take the Kijun Sen for the stop loss. Um, everything should come into one piece and you should be able to take trades. Uh, by using these five lines and price action is my answer. So sometimes the market respects the Kijun Sen, like when you see the bounce of the Kijun Sen right here in this candlestick. In this case, it was resisted by the Kijun Sen and gone down. And mo not only that, you see the pin bar when the market was resisted by the Kijun Sen. So together with this pin bar and this, on this reverse end wave structure, you can expect that the market continue to go down this way afterwards. So you cannot pick only one thing 
and、um, I try to interpret the market that way, and I think it's impossible.、Um, you have to combine、uh, these things together and be able to analyze the market correctly and with a decent、uh, risk management strategy. So, if you still ask whether the Kijun Sen works、uh, for the stop loss or not, then I think that you are still looking for the Holy Grail. So, yeah, try to gain more knowledge. Gain more knowledge from different angles like price action,、uh, candlestick patterns, or, in, or any other, other、um, uh, tools or strategies, and try to combine it together so that you can create your own strategy, is my advice. So,、um, and then after you put all these things together, then that will be the first step to become a pro trader. And if you want to、uh, make this as a, your own, Main job to support your,、uh, to support your life,、uh, support your income, then、um, you have to backtest and you have to have a confidence on your strategy. Otherwise, you will be switching around these different strategies and you, you, lose, your, you lose yourself. So, yeah, and Ichimoku works very good actually. Ichimoku is、uh, very nice in terms of、um, the way the it captured the market. And also the price actions, and also these universal like lines, support resistance lines, trend lines are actually very important to master. So I hope that the,、um, you know, I can、uh, present, keep explaining, keep sharing my knowledge based on my experience on this YouTube channel so that you can learn the way I interpret the market. And I think this is the way I actually build up my own strategy. And I think this is somewhat unique because I'm from Tokyo, Japan. I never studied this、uh, Forex trace in English. Um, so um, I hope that you learn and master and develop the way you analyze the market and create your own Holy Grail. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay gold. Thank you for watching until the end. Bye for now. Mata ne. Thank you.